First time, first time in the stadium. First time getting it up. I'll show y'all what I got, man. It's a blessing to be here. He got hurt early last year. Right? First, 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 he never played snap of defense. It was preseason one. First punt, he goes down, does the ACL. Never played a snap of defense for us. And the number two pick, we talked about him, Raekwon McMillan, who is so highly regarded by the Dolphins, is hurt on that play. We're going to take a timeout here, and we hope it's nothing serious. Uh, I mean, I knew for myself, I knew I was out <laughs> for the rest of that game, but I didn't know how severe it was. It was kind of a free accident, you know, kind of a routine play that we did 100 times in practice. You know, he's going down um, a couple of guys in, in a pile just trying to make a play and, you know, just got a you know, bad step, bad, you know, kind of hit from somewhere else. You know, I, I walked off by myself. I had my, my parents up in the stands, so, uh, you know, I kind of told myself, like, you know, they probably just sat down. You know, the worst thing they could see is me getting caught off the field. So even though my knee was hurting, I told myself, man, you got to make it off the field. You got to make it a locker room. You got to walk yourself in. That's kind of my mentality, man, you know. You, you got to make it. it. It's not for you, it's for other people. You know, I really wasn't paying attention to my knee. I was paying attention to the looks on everybody's faces. And uh, once I took a look at their faces, once they checked my knee out, and they kind of had a conversation between themselves, I knew what was up. I knew the emotions that he was dealing with. I knew the pain, uh, the disappointment, uh, the anger, like all of those things that, that kind of overwhelm you in that moment. I think probably the best thing that he did was, you know, still get all the learning he could. You know, he was in the meetings, he was you know, on the sideline on game days, hearing adjustments we made. Um, so I really don't think it was a wasted year for him. I had to kind of slow him down. He, he was a kid that he wanted it to happen right now. He was chomping at the bit, he wanted to get better. He wanted to prove to everybody that he could get better and be a fast healer and all those things. So, we had to kind of back him off a little bit, you know, to, and, and just let the process happen. And Tannehill had got hurt the week prior, so he he knew um, what I was going to go through. So we kind of linked together and kind of bonded through the whole process, and uh, he helped me. And we actually had surgery on the same day, so we were uh, we were right neck and neck the whole way through our rehab, pushing each other uh, day in and day out. You know, and little things that weren't a competition, we found a way to make them a competition, and you know, we, we found a way to to push each other and make each other better and uh, I think get mentally stronger through the whole process. Well, I was really, really encouraged when I found out they were together because you know, Raekwon being such a young guy, I call him a red shirt rookie, but he was such a young guy, and to go through the rehab process and to have Ryan there being a veteran player that's, you know, had to deal with some issues you know, of his own, it kind of helped Raekwon mature. <laughs> hey, let's finish, let's go! Work Chase, work Chase. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I think I, I think I did pretty good. This camp came in, took more of a leadership role, more vocal out there on the field. Hey, we need to stop. Let's go. Don't let him in. Let's go. I haven't fully taken the role as the leader on a leader on this team, but you know, working my way through, you know, you gotta get a couple game snaps in, then then you'll be that guy. Hey, make sure y'all remember this, bro. It's gonna come up. If I can quote a friend of mine. Um, he is who we thought he was. Uh, he's, he's doing all the same things he did last year. Um, the quickness is back. You know, the speed is up to par. His brain has always been good, but now that he has, he's had a year to ingest a lot of information, now he can go out and physically do those things. Hey, like, like he told me last year, Coach, it take you getting burnt a couple times for you to learn. When I took a step back after last season, after going 6-10, I knew I couldn't come back and this would be my rookie year. You know, this had to be my second year in the league. You know, every time I touch the field now, I give thanks. And uh, I, I'm just more appreciative of the time I have out here on the field. You know, last year I was rolling in with the high head, you know, rookie second round pick. I'm supposed to be this, supposed to be that. But this year I take it more into perspective because, uh, you know, last year I wasn't able to do anything. And this year, you know, it's all given back to me and I have another opportunity.